Welcome to the second lecture, Different Types of Optimization. Optimization technique can be classified into classical optimization and non-classical. Classical optimization means analytical process based on differential calculus. Non-classical means it is based on numerical process. So what are the limitations of these classical techniques? It is not applicable for non-differentiable discontinuity functions. So classical optimization techniques are useful in finding the optimum solution that is maximum or minima of continuous and differentiable functions. So actually these are analytical methods and we can make use of the differential calculus in locating the optimum solution. Aim of the classical optimization technique is to find an optimal solution and in order to find an optimal solution we can use differential calculus. So there are different ways of classifying optimization problem. The classification are not meant to be mutually exclusive but to describe mathematical characteristics possessed by the problem. So, based on different constraints, the optimization problems are divided into two, that is unconstrained optimization and constrained optimization. An optimization is said to be unconstrained if there are no constraints. Constrained optimization if one or more conditions are present. So, based on the number of independent design variables, single variable optimization or univariate optimization techniques, then objective function is function of one variable and constraint. Then next one is multivariate optimization. Here the objective function is function of in single variable optimization, objective function is a function of one variable and constraints. And multivariable optimization means objective function is a function of two or more variables. Another classification is based on time dependent or not. That is static optimization, it is dependent upon time. And dynamic optimization, it is independent of time. Then next one is the type of data available. Two types of optimization are there, deterministic and stochastic. In deterministic, data are known with certainty and in stochasticity, data are not known with certainty. Then based on number of objective function, we have single objective programming problem and multiple objective programming problem. Then based on the nature of equation involved, we are having linear programming problem and non-linear programming problem. So, what is linear programming problem? So, there is a unique objective function and whenever a design variable appears in either the objective or one of the constraint function, it must appear only as a power term with an exponent of 1 possibly multiplied by a constant. So, no term in the objective function or in any of the constraints can contain product of the decision variables. The coefficient of the decision variable in the objective function and each constraints are constant. So, the decision variables are permitted to assume fractional as well as integer values. The next one is nonlinear programming. If any function among objective function or constraint is nonlinear, the next classification is integer programming model. Here it may be linear or nonlinear depending upon the function and constraints. So here decision variables are continuous, but in integer programming formulation will be like this: uh, minimum f of x1, x2. X1 will be an element of 0, 1, 2, 3 x2 will be an element of 0, 1, 2. So, in this integer programming problem, we are having binary integer programming. So, here x will take the values 0 or 1. Then we have mixed integer programming. It can be linear or non-linear. It will combine integer and continuous decision variables. Mm -hmm.